So, my brothers and sisters, we are at the point as a door of no return. Before then, the female slave dungeons. Through these dungeons, women of substance, women of value, women good enough to be mothers, went through atrocities. Quiet because they had no power of their own. They had no strength of their own. Everything had been taken away from them. So they just kept quiet and they went through these atrocities, hoping for a miracle to happen. And that was a long-term dream. And when the ship arrived, they were taken away. Remember, your male counterparts have started coming out from here. You are pushed out to join them. Then, through this door, a door of no return. As the name suggests, once you went out of that door, there was no way you were going to come back. Initially, it was a small door, and only one person would go out at a time. If you go to Elmina Castle, the original door of no return still exists. The slaves were taken out in the night, so the local people would not see what was happening. But the local people have confirmed that time they could hear the cry of the slaves, the clinging of the chains. When you died, you were thrown overboard. So at times, the locals wake up in the morning and find dead bodies along the beach. Even when you are alive and proved to be stubborn, we are equally thrown overboard. So there are records that as they move, sharks and other flesh-eating pots, fishes follow them. Because they knew they were going to get food to eat, and that was human beings. Ironically, it was these same fishes that they caught and fed those who were on board. So invariably, they were using human flesh to feed human beings. Uh, I just want to bring something to your attention before we go through the door long term. We talked about this room in which we put that altar together. One of the things that we also found as we were touring through the dungeons is that in this room is where the babies were born. Okay. The babies were born and part of our, our feeding ritual is to bring food to the children and offerings. And George, who spends a lot of time here in those that are new, also brought it to my attention that there is a woman that comes here every Monday and Thursday. Mondays and Thursdays, this woman comes and feeds the babies and reads to them. So whoever she is, I don't know, but we give thanks for her and the fact that she thinks enough to want to do that for our babies. We generally take food and flowers and candy for them. So that we not forget that that is where many of them are. So we're going to go out through the door of no return. And before we go out, this door was renamed in 1998, the door of return. Yes. At which time, Ghana observed its first Emancipation Day celebration, in which the ancestral remains of Crystal were brought from Jamaica, West Indies, and Samuel Carson was brought from New York City. We talk about down south, but well, New York was up south. Those ancestors were put on a plane, brought to Ghana, put on Laden State, put on a boat, and brought back through this door and taken to the place that you first came, which is Last Bath. And 
just imagine that this is the last site that your ancestors saw and had absolutely no idea where they were going. So as the slaves came out through a door of no return, remember because of these rocks, as I said, the bigger boats could not get closer. So they had to walk down the staircase here, join the smaller boat, and then they were carried away. As they did so, the officials came down from this door, and they leaned over this wall to see how they were being packed. We went to the museum and you saw the artist's impression of how they were being packed. And someone discovered that the way books are packed on a shelf. In those days too, the population here was not large enough and it was a restricted area. If you had no business doing here, you wouldn't come. So that's how the situation was. We saw our ancestors saw us water, we had no idea where we were being taken. Now we have returned to the door of the town. And we're here, the nation building. We have to reconnect our people to your roots and culture. We have to repatriate